Oh, you shoot me? Yeah, all that stuff is good. Huh? I said all that stuff was good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, y'all. <laughs> I know I had a lot of you guys write me, asking me why I'm depriving you guys of my last Olympia, my last show with their YouTube videos. And I, I've been telling you guys that I just, you know, as a businessman, putting out a lot of money and not receiving money it has to stop somewhere, you know what I'm saying? So I was kind of fed up with it. But then one guy said, man, this is your last rodeo and I can't believe that you're doing this to us and that um, we can't even see your last preparation, you know, preparation of getting ready for the show. Um, and it kind of hit me, man. So even though I ain't making no money off of these videos, I'm gonna do it one last time for you guys. So starting the day, we are three weeks out. This is my Road to the Olympia video, starting at three weeks out. So let's get it popping, man. Let's get back into the groove of doing things. I'm gonna try and put out a couple of videos a week for you guys and um, let you see what I've been doing over the the past 12 weeks, because I've been out here, you know, I came out here about six weeks out, 16 weeks out, excuse me, from Olympia, and they moved it back to, of course, December 18th and 19th that weekend. So I've been there a good minute. But anyway, it's all good. It was better for me to do that anyway. It was better. It was better for th th that they did that for me anyway, because it gave me more time to have a longer off season to let the body, you know, relax and cleanse and all of that stuff, man. So I always have a great response when I get a long break and be able to take care of my body on off season. So fingers crossed. Usually I come back crazy. Fingers crossed. You know, I ain't gonna talk no shit, but it's gonna be good. I promise you. Uh, you know, this whole prep, I've been doing really good. I told myself, because I'm here by myself, so, you know, Gail is back home. My family's back home. So I, I told myself, you're going to keep up these dishes. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to keep these dishes clean. I don't want to see a seat full of dishes no more. And I've been living up to that, man. Right now, I'm on meal two. And meal two consists of chicken breast. Two cups of rice and some beets. I found these amazing beets right here. Fully cooked beets, organic, and man, they are amazing. 100% organic and they taste so fresh. I found this, I'm, I, I'm, you know, I'm not, I don't do a lot of promoting a lot of people's stuff. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't getting paid for it. But I got to show you guys this rice, this Basmati rice by Tasty Bite, organic. It is freaking moist. It is amazing. So I buy these by the boxes, man. It usually come about six in a box in a case or whatever. And I usually buy like 10 cases at a time. As a bodybuilder, you guys know that you must, that this right here is your best friend because you know I don't like to eat. So when he say six ounces or eight ounces, 
it's going to be eight ounces on the diet. No guessing. I don't trying to eat nine ounces or nothing like that. I'm going to do what it says. And that's it for me. Add a little amino, liquid aminos to my rice instead of soy sauce. Because as you guys know, I don't cut my sodium, my salt, or none of that stuff. So, so the rice is good. So I like to cut my chicken up. Like so. And the number one thing that I've been using to cook my meat in that I absolutely love. If you guys don't have one of these, like I said, I don't like promoting people product without getting paid, but this foodie right here, that's called the Ninja Foodie. It's the best investment I ever had. I've ever, ever made. So what you do is once you learn how to cook your meat the way you want to cook it, you put it in that thing, season it up, put it in there, close it, set the timer and you're done. And I promise you it would be, I mean, more juicy than you ever, ever had any meat. Even after, you know, like this is say for instance, I cooked just two days ago. When I put it in the microwave and um, heat it up, juice just still coming out of it, man. It's, it's crazy. Best investment ever, Ninja Foodie. I hadn't had beets since I was a kid, but um, George put it on the plan. That's what he wanted me eating. And that's what we're doing. What are beets good for? I can't even tell you. I ain't had beets in so long. I'm sure they're very nutritious. <laughs> I don't like this question. If he got on the plan, I'm gonna do what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so make sure that's good and hot. I like my food real hot, man. My meal two, two cups of rice, eight ounces chicken with beets. All right, so I'm over here at my trainer's house, Brad Rowe. <sighs> been training here since this whole pandemic thing and um been having some real good workouts here man death row gym is what it's called y'all <laughs> All right, so we're hooking decks up with a newbie. Uh, this is a neuromuscular re-education system. And what it does is it sends a DC current that mimics the body's nervous system signal. And for the purposes of training, we're eliciting a much greater muscle fiber recruitment, making training a hell of a lot more efficient. All right. We're gonna stay off the glutes and just do the hams. All right. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Cause we'll have to do something to make your videos a little longer because we ain't training all like mm -hmm. hour and a half like we we're doing with y'all. Thirty-five minutes about. Yeah. How was that? How was that? We're able to get a shorter workout and still get the benefits. Uh, well, not only this is making things much more efficient, but we're in a nice little compact gym, so we're not waiting for people to get off equipment. You know, we're not fighting through a crowd of people, so it's just boom, boom, boom. We got a game plan, we're in and out. You know, we bullshit just enough to let him catch his breath and put him to work. Yeah, and plus this machine, you get so pumped from this machine that you can't do a ton of sets. Yeah. You know, that's what I love about this machine. Like you said, it's very efficient and um, don't take long. 30, 35 minutes, we done. Yeah. With everything. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking love it. Yeah. Hey. 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 Call him, Mr. Rig. Mr. Riggit. So we, we figure shit out. He <laughs> was so crazy about it. I'm gonna whoop y'all ass on a bow flex machine <laughs> and, and rigging shit. <laughs> 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 Tell you, this feels as good as any machine that I've done. Make, make no mistake about it. Yes, make no mistake about it. We still got Coast Fitness we go to. You know, we probably go every other week. We go over there and do go to the real gym and do something different, different movements. But if this movement wasn't efficient and that wasn't Feeling the way I feel when I train, getting the pumps that I do, we would stay in close fitness. But I like this right here so much. We never gotta go to close. The only reason we go there because Brad ain't got everything in this small gym. Yeah. Once in a while, we wanna do like a Smith machine press, um, you know, a couple different chest press exercises, maybe a different back row. But outside of that, I got all the accessories and handles and everything to get it done in here. You don't understand how real this pump is when you put this machine on you. And I just did it for my legs last year for the first time. We just did leg on leg day. Yeah, and you guys saw the difference in my quad size. 16 workouts, that was it. Right, so this year we did every body part. So I'm very, very interested to see the final product because we use it on every, pro you know, on every body part. <gasps> I 
guys know, but Brad is actually um, working on Mike Tyson for this fight as well with this. I left the hotel and left Tyson. I'm not supposed to be on call day just to come work on deck. So <laughs> he got two, <laughs> <laughs> two legends in a day. Two legends in a day. <laughs> <I'm afraid>. yeah. <laughs> so Mike fights tonight. I'm dragging right now, y'all. I think this is probably the hardest I've ever died. It's really been tough. So it's getting old. Yeah. <laughs> Body fights you all the way. <laughs> and for him, dieting still means eating a cup and a half of two rice, two cups per meal. I oh. do 20 minutes cardio a day. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm still, still doing 20 minutes, yeah. I'm but eight meals with a spool. It's like three weeks out and he's still getting like a cup and a half, two cups of rice per meal. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm in the middle of prep and I'm on asparagus and fish for like 12 weeks straight. Oh, hell no. I'll be dead for real. I ain't got but three more weeks of this shit. And um, then I'm switching to like three meals a day, chilling. All this six, seven meals a day shit, you can have it. I don't know how it lasted this long, bro. That's it. Um, what we three weeks out from yesterday. And um, good thing about this Olympia, that's gonna make it even more sweet. Is it's right by my hometown, baby. They moved it to Orlando, Florida. You know what I'm saying? So of course, I got family members and friends that have never seen me compete in all these years that are all coming. So I advise everybody out there if you're going to get your tickets now, because if not, Dexter's whole Jackson is going to be up in there. So y'all need to get tickets now, I'm telling you. So tickets go on sale Monday, from what I understand. And it's going to be live, man. Um, like I said, we're three weeks out and we've been putting in work since 16 weeks out. I think Brad mentioned earlier that we did 16 weeks of late. We never did that long. I, I used to come out here. It was like 14 sessions. Oh, was it? Okay. I think we had 14 sessions because you were getting ready for Tampa. Got so you. you. Okay. You Tampa and then you did the Olympia. So yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was like 14 quad sessions we did. Like I said, this year, I kind of put a bug in his ear. I was like, let's try some different body parts. And uh, Dexter hated this thing at first. He, he absolutely hated me. <laughs> uh, so he was very reluctant. And then uh, after a couple of weeks of training, he was like, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just finish prep with this. Finish in the garage. So it's been been one of those years. I mean, every athlete's going through a lot of shit this year. You know, trying to train, trying to find a gym. So, you know, to, to be able to create a space like this that I can still train athletes and, and have them accomplish their goals has been uh, it's been a crazy ride. So I'm just blessed and fortunate to have Dexter and, and to have what I have available to me here. And uh, you know, I hope the other athletes are coming prepared because he's putting in work this year. He just been generous, man. He done had Odell Beckham, all kind of dudes over here, man. He is doing really good for himself, man. I'm so proud of this dude, man. Because when I used to see him in the gym about two years ago, we used to all laugh at this guy because he's pushing his cart around with his machine. And now, look, I tried it one time. I'm telling you, you will be sore than you've ever been in your life. Listen to me. If you see this machine, Please just go up to the person, talk to them, and get a session or two in or something. But you got to get with somebody who know what they're doing. See, Brad is the master at this. I think Brad's one of the first ones that had this machine. So he knows the different frequencies that you need, you know what I'm saying, to grow or even getting closer to the show. He know the frequencies that you have to put it on so you don't retain water and stuff like that. You can train all the way up to the show with it. Exactly. The other thing, you, you will break down a shit ton of muscle tissue, and if you train hard on it before your show, you're not going to get any separation at all. So, you got to be smart about frequency selection and things like that, and how hard you're pushing the athlete. Um, you know, but if you do it right, you create much greater separation, you know, rounder, fuller look than you could possibly achieve without it.
So it's a, it's a great tool. Just got to know how to do it. Well, man, like I said earlier, I've been getting a ton of messages from you guys asking me to do this. You know, they you want to see my journey because this is my retirement year, you know, my retirement show. And, um, you know, I've just been thinking about it and thinking about it. I said, you know what? I, I, what the hell am I doing? I do need to do something. So I know it's three weeks out, you know, and I should have been doing more, you know, started a lot sooner, but just been having so many different things going on, like business and stuff like that. That's one, of, you know, one of the things that I want you guys to um, start paying attention to on my Instagram and stuff like that, because I got some really good business adventures coming up, and I hope you guys be a part of it and you stick with me and be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, um, again, I I I I kind of felt bad, you know, up to, you know like a week ago when I got this one message from this guy, and he was like. You know, that it's really wrong how you're doing this. You know, you really should show us you, you, you've been doing it all these years. Why stop now? You know, so. So I decided, even though I don't make money from doing this. You know, I lose some money for my fans. Fuck it, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, we're going to get out of here. We're going to hit you guys with another video this week. And um, let's get ready to get it going, man. I'll see you guys in Orlando real soon. Peace.